Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me today for this practice. Uh, this is a movement-based practice. We are going to flow with our breath and um, we are going to fit a lot into this small uh, space of time. So this is a very efficient practice and I'm looking forward to uh, spending some time with you on the mat. So let's get started. Let's Let's begin this morning in child's pose. Taking this pose whatever way feels good for you. I like for first thing in the morning to have the knees apart, heels close together. Take a moment to settle into this pose. Already and uh, noticing the physical body, seeing how it feels today. Are there any areas of your body that are speaking to you that need extra attention or maybe um, some workarounds today, some modifications? Check in with your energetic self. See what your energy levels are like. Check in to see um, how you're feeling mentally, emotionally. Why did you come to the mat today? What is your intention for this practice? While we're doing this, feel free to just move around a little bit in this child's pose. Sway, swing the hips, breathe into the body, maybe move the hands around. It's starting to work at any little kinks in the body. Couple more breaths here. Reach the hands forward now if they've been somewhere else. And let's take a big breath and float up to a tabletop pose. And bring your knees in, hands underneath the shoulders. We'll do a few cat cows just to start practice. So bringing the tailbone up, dropping the belly, hearts forward, crown of the head is high, big stretch across the front of the body. And then let's exhale to round down. Squeezing across the front of the body, now stretching across the back body. A couple more times, inhaling the cow belly breath. Exhaling to squeeze it in. Angry cat. One more time each way. And then finding yourself in a neutral pose. Curl the toes under and let's lift the hips up and back to a downward facing dog. Again, again sway and move around within the frame of this pose. So um, swing your hips, shake your head. And it's in these little movements when we move around like this that we really find what feels good in a pose. So take your time here. Also just keeps working out the kinks in the body. 
I do you want to come to the front of the mat? So before we do that, let's just drop the heels, both heels back towards the back of the mat. One breath in stillness for rib lengthening. Long, slow exhale towards the end of your exhale. Lift the heels, bend the knees, and bring your feet forward to the front of the mat. Find yourself in a halfway lift. Then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, soften the knees, and let's roll all the way up to stand. Hands up, you can look up if that feels good. And then as we exhale, forward fold. Inhale to find a halfway lift. Nice flat back, just lengthening through the spine, pulling the hips back, the collarbones, the crown of the head forward. As we exhale now, soften the knees, plant the hands. Bring your feet back to a high plank pose. Inhale the shoulders forward and exhale to the floor. Inhale, pull the elbows in and the chest up, cobra pose. Exhale to release. So let's do this two more times. Fingertips off the mat, elbows high. Inhale, cobra. Shoulders are about as high as the elbows and the tops of your feet are pressing into the mat. As you exhale, release. Let's try that again. Inhale, cobra pose. And exhale, release down to the mat. Hands back on the mat next to your chest. Let's move to table or plank, and exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, up high on your toes, bend your knees, and come back to a tabletop pose. Let's take the right leg back to the back of the mat, curl the toes under, work into the sole of the foot, the back of the heel, the back of the leg. Just rock a couple of times. And then when you are ready, you can lift that right heel. Walk your left fingertips forward, gazes down. You can stay just like this, or you can bring the right hand up, extending forward through the left fingertips, back through the right heel. Big breath in here. And then as we exhale, round the spine like an angry cat, and then connect your left elbow to the right knee, or at least reach them towards one another. Inhale to extend, exhale, squeeze. One more time to extend, and then to squeeze. Inhale to reach. As we exhale, left hand comes down. Pivot on your left knee. Take the toes off the mat like a little kickstand. And then let's roll to a side plank or a modified side plank. Bringing the right shoulder over the left, the right hip over the left. You can extend back through the right heel or you can settle that right foot down onto the mat. It's up to you. Right hand can reach up overhead, over the front of the mat. So you're reaching back through the right heel, forward through the right fingertips, lifting up out of the left shoulder girdle. Nice big breath in. Now in the same way we did before, let's see if we can connect the elbow and the knee or reach them towards one another. Right elbow, right knee. Inhale to extend. Exhale to squeeze. You're squeezing the side body now. Inhale to extend. Exhale to squeeze. Inhale to extend. Let's bring the right hand to the right hip and draw your right knee in towards your chest now and settle that right foot towards the front of the mat. Pivot on your left knee, the foot can come back onto the mat. Take an easy twist here. Reaching the right fingertips up towards the ceiling. As we exhale, right hand comes down. Frame the front foot, curl into the toes of the back foot, lift the left knee and inhale up to your crescent lunge. As we exhale, twist left hand forward, right hand back. 
Inhale to reverse the twist. Left hand reaches up, right hand drops to the left thigh. Stay forward in that right knee. Inhale to your vertical twist. And exhale to warrior two. Right hand up and over, left hand reaches down and back. Ground into the left heel. Bring that right knee to a square over the right ankle and gaze out over the right fingertips. Inhale to um, reverse your warrior now. Right, left hand drops, right hand reaches up and back. Stay here for the exhale. And then let's inhale back to our warrior two. As we exhale, bring your right elbow to the right knee, your fingertips to the floor, extended side angle. Just moving through these poses. Big inhale back to our warrior two. Let's straighten through the right leg. Pivot on the toes. All the feet are pointing towards, all the feet, all the toes are pointing towards the long edge of your mat. Now actually let's bring the heels and toes out so that we can bend our knees to a square over the ankle. Coming to goddess, goddess legs. Inhale the fingertips up. And as we exhale, Find your elbows straight out from the shoulders, palms facing forward. Goddess pose, sink the hips a little bit more. And from here, let's squeeze the left side body, bringing your left elbow in towards your left hip or waist. And then inhale to open. Exhale the other way. Inhale up to center. Let's do that two more times. Just keeping the lower body really stable and grounded while we move and stretch through the upper body. One more time. Each way. Inhale up to center and then straighten arms and legs. Five point and star. As we exhale, make your way back to your warrior two facing the front of the mat. This time let's cartwheel the hands down, frame the front foot, lift the left heel and step your right foot back to meet the left high plank pose. We want to bring the left elbow down, then the right elbow down. So we're in a forearm plank. Nice easy breath here. Feel free, bring the knees to the mat. Either way, we're just going to stay here for three nice breaths. Now from here, I want to begin, whether you lift your knees if you're on your knees, and just begin to walk your toes in towards your elbows. So we're coming into dolphin pose, which looks like um, downward facing dog on your forearms. The top of your head might be, you're like your hair is brushing the mat, but your head is off the mat, so press into the elbows and broaden and stabilize through the shoulders. You can bring your feet, to, your inner feet, to touch at the back of the mat. And let's lift the right heel. Come up on the toes of your left foot. And then exhale to lower. Inhale to lift the left heel. Come up on the toes of the standing leg. Press into the shoulders. Lift up out of the floor. Exhale. Left foot comes down. Let's bring the two knees down onto the mat. Slide the hips back over the heels and bring your hands to the next to your ankles with the palms facing up. Breathe one full breath into the back body. Long, slow exhale. From here, let's roll up to sit. Bring your knees wide. You can stay here just like this. If you're already feeling a big stretch across the front of your thighs, just stay like this. You can help that a little bit. Give yourself a massage by um, making some claws with your hands and just raking your fingers up your thighs. This is going to just lengthen those muscles, manually lengthen them and give you a little bit of extra space there. Um, so if you're already feeling it, stay just like this. If you want to add a little bit of a back bend into this, you can um, bring your fingertips behind, behind you on the mat 
Um, and just place your hands down so that you are comfortable. And lift the hips, turn the tailbone down so you're lengthening through the low spine, sort of stretching through the front of your body. And then settle your hips back down between your heels. Now, once again, this might be enough for you. You might be starting to feel a little more stretch, probably still mostly in the legs. If you want to turn this into a back bend, you can come down onto the forearms. Even bring your shoulders down onto the mat. Now, if your knees start popping up, it's time for you to take it back a step. So we want to keep the knees down on the mat. You can bring the back of your head, your upper shoulders to the mat. If you're really flexy, more flexy than me, you can bring your knees toward, in towards one another so they're hip width apart. And open your throat here if that feels good. Nice energizing back bend for the morning. Uh, feel free to use anything underneath your head, your shoulders, your hands, blocks, blankets, pillows. And then to come out of this pose, tuck the chin. And bring your hands to the mat. Slowly come back up to your uh, knees. And then hands to the mat in front of you. Just draw your knees in towards one another. And settle back down into this rock pose. Take a breath here, recovering from the back bend, and then we'll do it all on the other side. So let's come to table, extend the left heel back behind you, work into that ankle just a couple of times, just working into the sole of the foot, the back of the heel, back of the calf. And then bring the shoulders over the wrists and lift that left heel. And keep your gaze straight down here. Walk the right hand forward towards the front of the mat. So you can stay here with the, that hand on the mat, adding a little a bit of extra stability. Or you can reach the right hand forward. Nice big breath in. As we exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale to extend. Exhale to squeeze. One more time both ways. Reach. And pull it all in. Inhale to reach. Now the right hand comes down to the mat. Pivot on your right knee, bringing the right toes up off the mat. Begin to move to your side plank. On this side, stacking the left hip. The left shoulder over the right. Pull up out of that right shoulder. So we don't want to be sinking, dumping down into that shoulder or that wrist. Try and lift up from there. Left hand can reach up and then overhead. Extending forward through the left fingertips, back through the left heel. Now as we exhale, squeeze the side body, elbow towards the knee. Inhale to extend. Exhale to squeeze. One more time, both ways. Reach and pull it in. Inhale to reach. Bring your left hand to your left hip. Squeeze your knee in towards your chest now. And set your left foot down on the mat, the front of the mat. Coming now, turning your torso to face the front of the mat. Coming now to a lunge. Let's inhale. Open into a twist, into an easy twist. And then as we exhale, that left hand can come down, frame the left foot, curl into the right toes, lift the right knee, and inhale up to our crescent lunge. Exhale to sink the hips and twist to the left. Right hand forward, left hand back. And then inhale, drop the left hand to the right thigh. Right hand reaches up and back. As we exhale, make our way, swinging right hand down and back, left hand up and forward, making our way to warrior two, rounding through the right heel, bringing the left knee to a square over the left ankle. Next big breath in, we'll reverse the warrior. 
Right hand drops, left hand reaches up and back. Keep pressing forward with the left shin. And then exhale to extended side angle. Left elbow, left knee or fingertips to the floor. Reach the right fingertips back towards the, towards the front of the mat. Reach out through the outer, the pinky toe side of your right foot. And then inhale. Make your way back up, warrior two. Straighten through the legs and turn your toes so that they're facing the long edge of the mat. I'm just going to turn around so I'm facing you. Pivot on your feet once again, toes out, heels in, and draw your knees to a square over your ankles. From here, keep your hands at your hips uh, just to begin. I want to lift the right knee, the right heel, and then pivot that right knee in towards the center of the mat or the center of your midline of your body. I feel like this is almost like an Elvis pose or something. Is that what he did? Come back, just bring that right knee back out over the ankle, pivot on the toe, and then settle the heel down. Let's try it on the other side. Lift the left heel and draw that left knee in towards the midline of the body. Coming back and settling that heel down. So let's um, try and add some. We can just bring the arms out to uh, goddess arms. Sink the hips a little bit more. And let's try and add some breath to this. So inhale to lift the right heel. Exhale. Draw the right knee in. Inhale to come back. Bring the right knee back over the ankle. Exhale to settle the heel. Inhale to lift the left heel. Exhale, turn the knee in. Inhale, turn the knee out. And exhale, drop the right heel, or the left heel. Inhale, lift the right heel. Exhale, drop the knee. Inhale, open the knee. And exhale, bring the right heel down. Inhale, lift the left heel. Exhale, bring the left knee in. Inhale, open. And exhale, settle the left heel. Inhale, straighten up through both arms, both legs. And then make your way back to warrior two, facing the front of the mat. Let's cartwheel the hands down. And step your left foot back to meet the right. High plank pose. Lift the hips up and back to a downward facing dog. Here I want to bring the right elbow down, then the left elbow down. Finding yourself back in a dolphin pose. Pressing into your arms. Lift the heels. Pivot on your toes, bringing the heels over to the left. Drop the heels again. Bend through the knee, bringing the hips back towards the heels. Inhale, pivot on the toes, come to center, and then draw your heels to the right. And bend through the knees. Inhale, back to center. From here, come back to your dolphin pose and then make your way to a forearm plank. Bring the right fingertips towards the left elbow so your forearm is parallel to the short edge of your mat. And let's make our way to a side plank here. So, so roll to the outer right foot, inner left foot, and stack your left side of your body over the right. Again, pull up out of that left shoulder, and reach the left fingertips up towards the ceiling. You can keep your feet staggered here. You can stack them. You can look up at your left hand if you like. And then let's make our way down to do the other side. So bring your forearms to parallel. And then take your left fingertips to your right inner elbow. Roll to the outer left foot, inner right foot. Reach the right fingertips overhead. Bringing the right elbow, forearm back down, reach the fingertips forward. Draw your knees down onto the mat. 
And let's slide back once again to child's pose. Have your hands at the back of the mat, fingertips reaching towards the back of the mat, palms facing up. Body is compressed over the front of the thighs. Fingertips can come to the mat now. Curl your toes under and settle your hips over the heels. Just sitting on those, on those toes curled under, breaking tension in the bottom of the feet. Feet and knees are hip width apart here. If this is a lot, you can come to stand on your knees. Actually, we're all going to come to stand on our knees in just a moment and practice. Uh, camel pose. So beginning now, we'll bring it come up to stand on our knees. Bring your hands to your hips. Knees are hip width apart, so the knees are directly underneath your hip bones. Bring your hands to the sacrum, turn the tailbone down, roll the shoulders back, roll the elbows in towards one another. Lengthen the spine so the tailbone's turned down. You're going to turn the hip bones up and like shorten that space between the rib cage and the hip bones. And then when we're ready to begin making our way into the back bend, do so by lengthening that space. Keep the low back long and lengthen the space between the hip bones and the rib cage. Turning your chest up towards the ceiling. Keep your chin tucked into your throat. Keep pressing your hips forward. And then feel like your, your shoulder blades, like there's a pair of hands on your shoulder blades, and they're pushing them up towards the ceiling. Tucking the chin, coming back to center. Settle your hips back down over your heels. And we can practice this exact same move again or if you like this time, take it a step by further by reaching back for your heels and you can open your throat. Definitely an option. Um, listen to yourself. Back bends are a great way to start the day, but we do want to make sure that we, um, we take it easy. We're, we're operating within the parameters that are comfortable for our body. So this isn't a place to push harder, um, but to listen to your body and sort of um, your body, if it's ready, it's almost like a door will open and you just have to step through it. There's no pushing, there's no forcing, and you'll feel that when the time comes, when the option arises, whether it's, um, whether the door is open and you can step through or not. So hands to the sacrum, lengthen the low back, shorten the front of the body. Roll the shoulders back, the elbows in towards one another, begin to lengthen through the front of the body, lift the chest. Press the hips forward. Now from here, if you'd like, you can reach back for your heels, one hand at a time. If you like, you can open your throat. Keep pressing the hips forward, lifting up higher and higher through the chest. the chin into the throat, return your hands to your low back, unhook your toes and settle your hips down over your heels. And from here it's time to make our way into a savasana um, pose. You can lie, give some choices since we're not already lying down. You can lie on your front or you can lie on your back or you can take a seated meditation post style posture, whatever is most comfortable for you. If we don't want to lie flat out on our back, that's fine. What's important here is that we take a few moments Note, shut our eyes, notice how we feel.
noticing the breath moving through the body, the energy moving through the body. If you're reclined, you can begin to bring some movement into your body. Wiggle through the fingers and the toes. Just move and stretch through the body. Pull your knees in tight to your chest and then find your way to a seated position. Either by rolling to the fetal position or rolling the length of your spine to come up to sit. Just take your time. We can all meet here in a comfortable seated pose. to the third eye and let's hinge forward. It's our final pose for the day and I thank you for joining me. Namaste. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this practice and I hope you're feeling great. You have tons of energy for the day. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you feel amazing. Please, if you like this practice, help me out by liking this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you liked. I'll make more of it for you. And um, subscribe and hit the notification button so that you get a note every time I upload a new video. These are things that you can do to help me and other yoga teachers um, keep putting free yoga up on the internet. On the internet. Uh, I hope you have an amazing day and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Namaste.